Okay, I'm right by the gazebo at Brook Point on Main Trail. And you can see this winter we lost a couple trees. We're gonna try to get some of these cut up tomorrow and get them off the, uh, the brown shed. That path right there takes you to Family Cove. That's the Nothing Trail. Had a little bit of damage to the shed, but I think it'll survive once we get it cleared up a little bit here. It is a little wet back here. Hopefully the sun continues to stay up. You can see the cabin. You can see all this, all these trees fell this winter. Um, we have one there that's starting to really lean. I think it'll be okay, but it is definitely leaning quite a bit. So this one just basically uprooted itself. You can see where this is. So we'll have to cut it down. I don't think we obviously don't have the the tools to be able to lift it back up in place and it's just not going to happen so we're going to have to unfortunately cut her down but we're going to try to get that pile burnt tomorrow there's another pile back there we want to get burnt tomorrow and then we'll have to get this cut up which this is a gigantic tree uh, it's a huge tree actually um, I don't know how we're going to get all that cut up actually that is a massive tree, but regardless, that is, uh, that's on the project list. This is the service trail here. Let's see where we're uh, coming out here. If you see uh, blue X's on the trees, those basically mean that we have to cut those down because they are dead, but there's limits to how much we can actually get accomplished. This is one of the paths to Fem Cove, which Gary's going to come out and level all this dirt up and make it uh, make it pretty level. Uh, we've got another burn pile here that we want to get burnt. So there's some stumps back here that need cleaned up and. Then once all that's leveled out, Gary's going to come in, and, uh, like I said, Gary's going to come and get all the stumps out, level it up, and uh, then we will, just like we have grass seed planted all the way down there, we will do the exact same thing here. This will all be grass seed, and once we get that done, we'll really heavily seed it, so that way we can get some nice... Uh, um, uh, base back here and we will then be able to start working on stuff. We do have a tree here that we need to get down and one there that also needs to get down. I don't know what we'll do about that. Uh, we probably won't get to it before Gary cleans that up so unfortunately I just don't know what we'll do. Um, I'd like to fall that but I don't know if we can get that done tomorrow or not. We may be able to just follow it, I guess, but to cut that tree up, that would take about an hour or more to cut all that up. So eventually these stumps will all be out of here, and we will be able to just seed it, and then eventually mow it. But you can see this is the service trail right here. We've got several uh, ruts and mud. As you get back to this corner here, it's very, very muddy, and we're going to need to add a bunch, uh, I mean a bunch, of limestone and fill this in because you can barely even see where limestone has even been put down. You can see it kind of a little bit, and we'll get it all evened out and stuff like that eventually, but even this right here, there's water standing here in this area. and. Uh, it's going to take quite a bit for us to get this to a mowable position, but we will. As like last year, we actually had everything mowed, uh, and it was really looking sharp. The guy started mowing it, and we had to stop uh, mowing because we, the month of uh, June, we got zero rain, and all of this died back here, all of it. So we had no choice but I mean to reseed it all and put straw down again. So hopefully it'll grow up and it'll look nice again in the future and we can get it all mowed back here. So that is your uh, 
411 on the current progress of the service trail and Family Cove.